look, I know I should be acting cool and calm about this stuff, but I can't keep calm about this. On Running have sent me this pair of shoes, the Cloud Stratus 3, for a review. And I'm about to give you that review right now. They also gifted me the Cloud Stratus 2, and I've been running in this one more than I have in the 3, and I'm able to compare and give you highlights and key changes that they've made in the version 3. My name is Aubrey, welcome to my channel, Aubrey Running. And if you're on Instagram, please do connect with me, it's aubrey.running over there. At the time of filming this, my little channel has 5,412 subscribers. And on running, have sent me a pair of running shoes. With no further ado, let's highlight what this shoe is for and what it's about. Okay, so what's the profile of the Cloud Stratus shoe? Well, I have to explain the different type of shoes there are first for you to fully appreciate what On is doing in this shoe. On one end, you've got the shoe that's there for the easy run or the long run, and that's geared towards max cushioning. Then you've got race day, which is carbon plate, return of energy, but it's there for repulsion, pushing you forward. In the middle, you've got your daily trainer. This is your workhorse. This is what this is. Now, this is a neutral one, meaning, if you need stability, you might want to look for a different shoe that will help you with overpronation. This is a neutral daily trainer, the workhorse for putting the miles in. Simply because it combines the elements I just talked about, the cushioning, as well as that plate. But we'll talk about that in a second. So in all of my shoe reviews for any shoe, I do this section called the three things you need to know about. The price, the weight, and the stack height. And I'm going to be comparing it to the previous version so you get to understand the key changes that On Running has made. Let's start with the weight. And fortunately, it's actually heavier. But if you ask me, it's heavier for the right reasons. And I'm not trying to be biased because they've sent me the shoe. Let me highlight what I mean. Cloud Stratus 2 weighed in in a 9.5 UK, 319 grams. The Cloud Stratus 3 came in at 327 grams. Let me highlight the key changes. You know that annoying thing that on running shoes have in the middle that collects all of the neighborhood stones? You won't get that anymore here because they've kind of closed that ridge in the middle. And they've closed it by adding more of that helium super foam, whatever they call it in there. So it adds cushioning, therefore it's made the shoe heavier. There are some other elements that would have made it heavier, but that's the main one. Let's talk about price. $180 or 170 pounds for the Cloud Stratus 3, whereas the Cloud Stratus 2, now, because this one's out, has been discounted. This is the best time to get this shoe if you're looking for it. And then lastly, stack heights. This was 36 and 28 mil. So 36 at the back, 28 at the front being an eight mil drop. This is actually dropped to a six mil drop and the stack height is less, 32 at the back, Oof, and 26 at the front much less but for some reason much more comfortable okay so one other thing i pride myself for is talking normal english when reviewing these running shoes no jargon so let's just have a normal conversation about the cloud stratus 3 and in some places i'm going to compare it to the cloud stratus 2. let's start from the top and work our way down back work our way front let's up let's start with the heel so They've re-engineered this heel, and when we start from the back, looking at the outside of it, you will see what I mean. It's got much more of a minimalistic look, and I like that. When you look on the inside as well as the outside, you can see that padding. That actually adds so much more to a plushier feel. However, it comes at a certain expense. That weight increase we talked about are features like that. And you also have to ask if it's much more padded, giving you a much plushier feel. Does it run warmer? Is it gonna run hot and therefore become less breathable? I didn't find it to be, but some other people might. And it's a question you always have to ask. But for me, I got a very good lockdown, similar to this, but the only difference is it feels plushier and it feels better against your foot. It almost gave me Cloud Surfer 7 vibes in terms of the padding at the heel. And that can't be a bad thing. Okay, and then the tongue. It still remains gusseted. Now, I love that. For those not too familiar on what gusseted means, it means the tongue is actually attached in the inside of the shoe and it fixes its position. 
they've retained the aesthetics, you know, the cloud stratus thing here. You can see that, but the tongue is slightly more padded than the previous one. Now, if you don't have the cloud stratus too, what do I mean by that? When you tie down these laces, the pressure of it tying down, if the tongue is not padded, can actually give you some discomfort on your foot. They've done that, and it, to me, it feels a bit more plushier than it did in the version two. And I always love touches like that. On a daily trainer, this is a shoe you're gonna be doing a lot of miles in. So two ticks for the tongue, in terms of it being gusseted, which was the same in the, in the two, but this time, they've made it a bit more padded, and I like that. I also like the aesthetic of that Cloud Stratus label on the tongue. It's a nice touch. Okay, the lacing system. Now, this is very good. You see this last loop here? The eyelids there were running onto the upper, and to me, I feel like that introduced a weak point. It actually pulls part of the upper. Don't get me wrong, it didn't interfere with the performance of the upper or the shoe itself. I did manage to get a good lockdown, but I just feel like getting rid of that in the version three is the right thing to do. It simplifies the setup and I like that. Um, this is not your normal holes kind of setup, uh, which I always prefer. I would have preferred that to be honest. It just makes things simple, but you still get a good lockdown in this one. So I don't really have anything to fault on the lacing system. Okay, now let's talk about this upper. Now look, on running provided a spec sheet and I could just rattle off and read stuff to you, but I would rather tell you about my felt experience. These are the two shoes and I'll be, I'll be honest enough in saying that I don't see much of a change apart from what they've done at the back of the shoes at the back of the shoes, and we've already addressed it in the heel, but in terms of the upper, this is one of the most breathable daily trainers I have. On running have done a good job there. The perforations that you see at that adds so much to how breathable this shoe is, but also obviously to the aesthetic. But in terms of a change from the version two, honestly, like if you look closely, you can even see the perforations and sections have been maintained both in the outside of the shoe as well as on the inside. But as a shoe on its own, without having to compare to the version two, it's a very breathable shoe. So the concern I raised earlier about it possibly running too warm or too hot, I didn't experience it. So I thought I would just highlight that. The one thing I want you to know though, it feels that this is much more roomier than the version two. So for me, is it true to size? I think this is going to bit a bit big half size. So if you're going to buy this, try it in the shop and try and go a half size down if the normal on running size works for you. So for me, I probably should have gotten a nine instead of the nine and a half because it feels slightly more roomier than I would want it to. When it comes to the Cloud Stratus 3, the star of the show has to be this midsole. There are three key factors I need to tell you about. Firstly, the cloud tech. Okay, so in a standard on running shoe, you see the pods there that we call clouds. There is one layer of that. The cloud stratus, including the three, has two layers of this cloud technology, meaning the shoe compresses on each step in a very unique way in the cloud stratus. The second thing is the speedboard. They've moved away from the speedboard you normally see through the midsole here. This one is a nylon blend speedboard. Now for me personally, as a runner, I didn't get to see the difference between the Cloud Stratus 2 speedboard and this new nylon blend. The third thing is definitely a thing we need to dwell on. So I picked up my Cloud Swift because I wanted to use it as an example of that single layer Cloud Tech. I didn't know I was gonna be using it as an example of something we hate. You see the middle part of the midsole in on running shoes, it collects stones. They've done away with that in the Cloud Stratus 3. Simply, normally you would see that speedboard showing through the underside of the shoe, but they've covered that with a layer of this Helion Super Foam, which makes up the midsole. That gives you added comfort, added cushioning, but also seals up this channel that was collecting stones. Not a single stone collected since using this. Okay, I like this bit, the outsole. 
You see, the, the outsole of any running shoe primarily does two things. One, provide the runner with grip against whatever surface or terrain you're running on. But secondly, it provides resilience so that the foam that you run in doesn't wear out too thin. The Cloud Stratus 3 does two things that was different from the version 2. You see, the devil is in the details. If you look closely, the black against this orange, the layout is the same, but they've refined the lugs to make them slightly bigger and that improves against the grip. And I actually love that. But essentially, what the outsole has done here, they've covered all the key landing zones. That's gonna secure the shoe against wearing out. So I can't really complain there, but it's worth noting the change that they've done to the outsole in terms of that grip. Well done for that.